let's talk about this over the dinner. Oh, hey, hi. Christina, come here. Hello. As we talked last week about the benefits of our intercultural relationship, this week we will talk about the disadvantages of it. The struggles of an interracial relationship. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, for that, let's go to the city. Yes. Bye-bye. First and the biggest disadvantage or the struggle we had in the beginning of the relationship was getting our families on board. Yes. We both are very close to our families and it's very important for us that our families accept our partners equally important as we accepting our partner as well. True. I have to honestly say that um I think both our families actually reacted pretty good on each other. Of course they needed some time. My parents to accept that he's Indian. <laughs> they took the time. Your parents to accept that I'm European. Yeah. But I would say in general that both of them reacted really well and also involved the other person very quickly into the family, I would say, right? Yeah. So and once they understood that we are also very serious and how much we love each other. Yeah. I think they also got like end of the day all the parents they want their kids to be happy. Yes. I think that's what probably they were thinking as well and that's why they also accepted both of us with open hearts. But I can understand that it is a little difficult for parents at the beginning to understand to accept that your child is taking a person from a different culture, country, language, religion, yeah. everything. It's yeah, not that easy, but both of our families yeah. actually were really good. Surprisingly very good. Yeah. So <laughs> another thing that we struggled with was that no one around us believing in us. I mean it does not make it any impact on us directly if you are with someone it's it's got only thing to do with you and your partner nothing to do with your friends or people around you but it has some subtle subconscious impact on you it still affects like in my case for example a lot of austrian friends were like not believing in it because we were both living in ireland i was supposed to be there leaving after some months and also your indian friends were yeah. saying like ah how would it work out with a european girl in a way like somehow yeah. right and like you you might be in sometimes in a situation where you might want to share something with your friends and having this obvious feeling that you can see that and there's an undertone there you it sounds like you know it's not going to work so okay yeah but that is especially at the beginning yeah. i would say after some time now yeah. not at all anymore but the first now, now months, everyone knows yeah first months or something like this it was a very big difficulty yeah. i would say Yeah. So another disadvantage is definitely the language barrier in our case, yeah. I would say. And especially in the last video, I just said when we initially became couple, you know, you could talk in English, but you were not that proficient. Yeah, that's true. So now I mean it's not a problem at all anymore, but at the beginning it definitely yeah. was. And when you are in the country of the other person, especially yeah, in Varun's case, friends and family. Yeah, he lives here in Austria now. Very often, friends, family, we all talk in German to each other. Yeah. It makes you a little uncomfortable sometimes, right? Yeah, there's, there's only a limit to which you can ask, like, ah, what, what? You you can't do this thing after every single sentence. And people talk to you in English. A lot of people. The thing is, in Austria, most of the people can actually talk in English, but it's not their first comfortable language. Like the moment they get a chance, people will switch to Austrian, and that's normal. It's the same in India. When yeah, we were exactly. in India, so many times everyone talked Hindi. Most of the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Now the bell started ringing. <laughs> <laughs> So another disadvantage is that you are actually never able to have both sides of your family around for special occasions like birthdays yeah. or festivals. You always feel a little bit like divided between two places. Yeah, you pretty much have to choose where you want to be on those days. Like festivals, either we can be here or we can be in India. Like yes. it will never be a point like for Diwali, probably the whole family, my whole family, everyone is there. Yes. So that is a little sad that you really, yeah, and especially in our case, his family is in India, my family is in Austria. That's like, I don't know how many kilometers, like <laughs> very far. I don't know, so far, so far. <laughs> But that is for sure a big disadvantage, I would yeah. say. You feel that on your big moments. Yes. So our last disadvantage is the cultural background. So an example for this is, for example, Austrians when they see the sun, they really want to go out on the weekend. They want to be as much as possible in the sun. And, and for me, as like not for Indians, I would say just being from Delhi. If it's sunny outside, there's a reason not to leave the house. You wait till the sun goes down. It's yes. because it's summer in Delhi is very different True. than Austrian summer. Yeah. Or another example, for example, in Austria, people on the weekend they are running out, so they want to go on the lake swimming. They want to go up to a mountain. They want to go for a walk. <laughs> yeah. And, you and for me, it's like 
or for us, especially the thing is when I talk about India, I'm not talking about whole India, at least North or Delhi. But yeah, it's like the Sunday starts with what's in the breakfast. In breakfast, our discussion is what we are going to eat for lunch. And lunch, we're discussing, ah, what should we eat with the tea in the evening? I mean, that's a Sunday is eating and relaxing, chilling day. Yes. And here, it's like you wake up and it's like, ah, should we go for the hike? Should we go to the that mountain? Actually, should we go for a bike ride? One of our biggest discussions on the weekend, I want to do something and go out. <laughs> he wants to stay home and relax. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> These things, small things you realize when you start living. But I think it's a disadvantage, but also an advantage because you actually bring in both things That's as well. Sure. I, I get say. pushed to do so many things and I force you to do something relax. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. We are home finally. We have come to the end of this video. And we actually had one realization just now when we talked before. All the disadvantages in our in the intercultural relationship yeah. or in Not our case, all the struggles. The struggles, no disadvantages yeah. as such. Struggles, True. yeah. They are actually not within us. Mainly, actually, external factors like yeah. friends, family, environment, these kind of things. And except the first few months, when these struggles we had in trying to understand each other, the lang to an extent, the language barrier, the cultural barrier, a little bit over the time, they got fixed. Yeah, I would say like the biggest time where you can feel these struggles are the first months yeah now after so many years nah, i cannot feel at all that we are actually from different yeah. races or and cultures in the, the language thing it's a long term thing like i will learn language eventually you will learn the language then even that would be done true so there's no as such major struggle that that we can't find a solution for true so as long as you love each other even if you're intercultural or interracial things work out exactly <laughs> So, thank you so much for watching if you watched it till now and don't forget to subscribe. We post a video every single week. So, see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.